Breaking news on a serial creeper on the loose in Miami-Dade County. CBS4 has learned police suspect this man in a minimum of 15 cases and as many as 40. Most are in Carl Gables and Miami, but CBS4 confirms he may have also struck on Miami Beach. CBS4's Lauren Pastrana joins us live from the Carl Gables neighborhood where most of these incidents have happened. Lauren. Rick, Erica, CBS4 has learned that police believe they have some new information that they will share with us at a press conference tomorrow. We are looking forward to that new information, and so are the women who live here in this neighborhood who say they hope that police are now one step closer to catching the man who has them living in fear. This is the sketch of the man police from multiple jurisdictions believe is spying on and in some cases sexually terrorizing women. But come Thursday, that face may look a bit different. As sources tell CBS 4 News, Coral Gables police will release a new sketch, one that makes the man in question look heavier. For the first time in South Florida, police are working with scientists who say they've developed technology that can determine what a person looks like based on their DNA. The hope is the new image will lead police to the man they believe may be responsible for crimes dating back to 2013. I think it's very scary, you know, especially, you know, some people live alone. Maria Calvar says her former neighbor was a victim. She says the woman who used to live downstairs once saw a man staring at her through her window and that he was touching himself inappropriately in front of her. CBS4 obtained that police report and several others from cases that could be connected to this serial creeper. Sources tell us investigators think this person is responsible for a minimum of 15 cases and possibly as many as 30 to 40. It is kind of frightening. This is the Gables. This is a good area. This is where you don't expect stuff like that to happen. Police say they've been able to forensically link at least one Coral Gables sexual battery case to two attacks in the city of Miami. And now sources say Miami Beach police are looking at the possibility the same man has victimized a woman in their city. The report says a woman woke up inside her apartment and found a strange man performing oral sex on her. She begged him to stop and he eventually ran away. Police think the man who started as a peeping Tom is becoming more brazen. A senior law enforcement official familiar with the investigation said, quote, we're afraid of the progression and where this may be going. A spokesman for the Miami Beach police added, quote, we are fully investigating this case. We are taking it seriously and still evaluating whether it is linked to other cases across Miami-Dade. Now, I did speak to the victim from that Miami Beach case. She was too scared to go on camera, but says that police told her they believe her case is linked to those other cases throughout Miami-Dade County. Again, we are expecting a new sketch to be released at a press conference tomorrow morning, and we'll share it with you as soon as we get it. We're live in Coral Gables. Lauren Pastrana, CBS4 News, tonight.